in my life that didn't have anything to do with each other who led me to new theatre. It was like I couldn't escape my fate. And, uh, and I had been a, a child singer-dancer, so I was used to performing, but I didn't join new theatre to act. I just joined to help type scripts, because that's what they needed. Very reluctant, very reluctant actor. I had to be, I had to be coerced into doing some simple acting classes. Now, I don't want to act, so why should I do classes, I said to people. I said, no, it'll be good for you, you know. One of the first things I did, uh, I had this line, everybody's dying, Mrs Rowan, people who never died before are dying. And that was what I had to say in this small role. The house, brought the house down, it was a funny line, and apparently I did it well. And I'd come off stage thinking, oh, they laughed at me. And it was every time something happens like that, well, then your confidence builds up. 20 minutes, guys. The stage is going live in five, so if you want to go on stage, yeah, please do it now. And could you please set your costume? Hold on. So, 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 so. In the early days when I joined, I mean, it was very left-wing, and the people that were on committee and were elected and responsible, there were some communists among them, and that's how I first met communists. <laughs> people that were in New Theatre were in New Theatre because it was, a, it was seen as a very politically-oriented theatre. I only found out because I got a letter in the mail alerting me to the fact that I was going to be uh, nominated for an OAM. My attitude was, this was from the Queen, right? Mm. And I'm not a royalist in any way. But it's from the Queen, and I don't want anything from the Queen. I'm opposed to the Queen, see? So I'm thinking, well, I knew that there'd been other publicity in previous years when people had sent back their medals or, you know, British, you know, peers and things, you know, who had refused if they were left wing, which I was, you know. And, uh, I mean, I was actually a member of the, the party still then, the Communist Party. So my attitude was I didn't want it, but I sort of had to tell my mother, because I was living with my mother, I sort of said to her, look, I've got this and I want to let you know that I'm not going to accept it because I don't believe in it. Oh, my mother. She hit the roof and she said to me, I have put up with your politics all these years. I've had relatives that have been unhappy about you and now you're being recognised by the government and the Queen and you're saying you're not going to have it. And I've been putting up with this for all these years and as far as I'm concerned, you're going you're gonna to take it. It wouldn't be. And that was why I did. And I could see her logic because she had put up with a lot of slights because of my being a member of the Communist Party. And the Cold War period was something, it's very hard to realise how you mm. didn't talk about your politics in certain circles because the, the slur that was against being a red, you know, being a communist. As a matter of fact, I've just this minute yep. received a message from my friend up in uh, Coffs, mm. who was one of my oldest friends from New Theatre, yep. and she's just sort of said it's about time we, we swap some what we're doing, and she's very busy doing a production of Skin of Our Teeth up at Coffs Harbour. I'm, I'm on my way in there to see be at five o'clock with my sewing machine. That's my, that's my contracted uh, arrangement. I guess I must have gotten an incredible amount of satisfaction. I mean, we've had people that have come and been 20 years and then life has taken them somewhere else. One of the factors that held my 
constancy with the theatre was that we were married, you know, as members of New Theatre we were married, but we found that we couldn't have a family, right? Mm. So that meant that I didn't have to take time off from New Theatre yeah. duties, or mm. things I loved doing, I call them duties, to yeah. raise a family. Okay. The thing is, uh, the, best place the minute that you join the page of dues, you have an equal standing, equal vote with the person who's been here 20, 30, 40 years. And you've got the understanding that you join this theatre because it's non professional, and non professionally, you do not get paid. Nobody gets paid. Yeah. I get an invitation to all opening nights. Yeah. Okay. So, all, all light members do. I really never wanted to make acting a profession for myself. I was really, I didn't have that. My husband had it and he had a lovely success. The theatre certainly changed me. I could not be having this conversation if it hadn't been for new theatre. Don't go to slow and you not want from your rat. Oh, what do you do?